اصل چی رو میگه هومی چی سسنی فدا سوشو آتو افید بچو آجیس کوب بچو بچو نیچ اولاد از فدا مرلاد مر گاج و افید ان اصیدی بچو دیو آنتو آس اولاد این در نیم و چی سس We cannot do without you. Do not effort, you cannot do anything. But I said, do not effort, you cannot, you cannot be heard. Oh Lord, we will come before you, Lord, we pray. Like In Jesus' Jesus. mighty name, we pray. Amen. In that verse of scripture, in that verse 5, it now says that after virtue, then we shall add knowledge. Now, in Proverbs chapter 19, verse 2, we are told that for a soul to be without knowledge, it is not good. For a soul to be without knowledge, that it is not right. It is not something that is good at all. And so, knowledge is very important. And in this case, we are talking about the knowledge for the man and the knowledge for the woman. So we want to cry unto God. In the name of Jesus, God will increase our knowledge of God, knowledge of Christ, in the name of Jesus, we will be knowledgeable about, uh, uh, okay, sorry, let me of this, uh, okay, sorry. So let's be talking to God in prayer. Father in heaven, we come before your throne. So we are oh Lord. There will be supernatural. Us that knowledge, that supernatural knowledge, oh Lord, to make us wonderful parents. Parenting. Father, grant unto us, oh Lord, like in about the name them. of Jesus. Knowledge oh Lord, about come before your throne. Lord. We should dwell with them with no knowledge. We should dwell with them with knowledge. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Mercy. We have visited all the wonderful Amen. Amen. You know, some people, they will not know that it's lack of knowledge that makes them do what they do. They will not know, but I will say it. Uh, we are here as a, uh, and I believe some people could be listening to us on the YouTube. So it may not necessarily be some of the things we say here may not necessarily be applicable to those of all that are live directly. Of course, there are people who may listen later and then, and that may heavily impact their lives because that may be speaking to their situation or speaking to their lives. Sir, have you realized how some people make comparison of their family? And then you find a woman who will say, oh, come on. I know how Baba or Shola used to treat the wife. And then you, you are just, uh, you say you are a pastor. And then they begin to lash their husband and begin to say all kinds of things. That woman lacks knowledge. That woman is not knowledgeable. If she is knowledgeable, she will not have made comparison of her husband with another man somewhere. He shouldn't have done that. She should not have even uttered it out and even allowed, even if the devil tempts him or tempts her to say it, if the thing remains in her heart and she cast it out and all that, that would have been better to have, to have uttered it out and begin to even make comparison. And he's even making comparison with somebody the husband knows. Now, that will completely demoralize the husband. And then you find some men, too. They will just look at their wife and say, see you. Be, 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 be behaving like a, uh, like an old woman there. Uh, don't you see so-so person why? You have killed that woman. And it's lack of knowledge that make people behave like this. They don't have knowledge. They don't know knowledge of emotion. That's what we call emotional intelligence. They don't have it. They don't understand what we, uh, how, to, how to be considerate, how to be polite, how to be courteous in talking. And so they talk anyhow. And, and and they are they are men, or they are adults, they are white, they have children, but yet they talk like babies. They don't know how to talk. They don't know. How to talk. 
over the costiest in their family unnecessarily mm. by making unnecessary comparison. We want to cry unto God. And when the scripture says that we should dwell with them according to knowledge, the Bible was very correct that we are to be so knowledgeable that we live with our spouse and we live with our wife with knowledge. Knowledge. You understand that she's not happy and you know what to say. You are you understand where she's feeling the monthly menstrual something that bring about emotion uh, as uh, you know swing where the emotion will just change there and all of that and then she's frowning not because you have offended that she's just frowning you will not begin to say uh, what's your own why are you funny are you sure you are sanctified a uh, uh, kilo day and then you begin to lay unnecessary accusation and then before you know it's small thing it will spark fire and then you see them going to go pastor or going to state of Asia. They want to go and settle quarry. Our own will not be like a war zone. We want to cry unto God to give us necessary knowledge, correct knowledge. And this knowledge are gotten from the Bible. They are gotten from reading books, good books. There are people who don't read only, uh, there are people who only read Bible. They don't read books. You will never find them reading books on marriage. They tell you it doesn't mean. They tell you it's not necessary. They tell you, hey, what do we have? The Bible is saying, no. That's why we find many misbehaving. Because they don't have the knowledge to relate in their own. Let's cry unto God, we will do better. We will do well. If you have ever read that book, Martin Luther had a wife, so other. You will see how those men related with their wife and related with their husband. Martin Luther, John Wesley, Jonathan Edward, all these men, they were in that book. And yet you will see how they related with their wife. Let's cry to God. The Lord will give us necessary knowledge to live according to knowledge with our wife. Are we praying? Let's talk to God in prayers. Father in heaven, we come before your throne of mercy this morning. We bring our family before you, myself, my wife, the, the knowledge we need from above to guide our home, to make our home a desirable home. Right unto us, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, we come before your throne of mercy, O Lord. If you do not help us, who will help us? No one. O Lord, we pray to help us and give us the grace and the privilege, O Lord, to guide our home aright, to guide our home aright. The wisdom we need, O Lord. Yes. O Lord, you have the that. But that is with your knowledge, with your power, with the kind of one us to be able to do well, Father. Help us to do well, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Help us to do well, O Lord. Amen. We are reading from that. That's the only passage I'll be reading. I will just be all those other ones. I will only be quoting them, but I will not open them. But the only passage is our child day. The second Peter we are using. So I'm taking it now from verse 6. We have, we have taken two prayer points in verse 5. Verse 6, and to know the purpose, temperance. Our temperance. This is one of the things that have destroyed many homes. Lack of this virtue is what have destroyed many homes. You go find out. Go, go and find out. We are pastors here. And we can tell some cases we have handled. And we can tell that some of those cases is just lack of temperance. What's temperance? Self, self control. That is, uh, 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 somebody being under control. And then you'll find many of the divorce cases, many of the separation cases, and many of the problems in the home, even where there are no divorce or separation, but many of the cases in the home that brings about pandemonium and unnecessary quarry and all that. You will discover his lack of self control, temperance. And the Bible says here we should add temperance to the virtue. We should add temperance after knowledge. We are to going to beg God. For the apostles say in 1 Corinthians 9, verse 25, every man that striving for the mastery is temperate in all things. That is his self-control. If we want to master the art of taking care of our wife and children, we must be temperate. There are times. That even the little baby, my little baby now, my little baby at home, that is just a year ago, we do something. Ah, it will be so painful. I will just use my hand like this and all of that. Self-control is a very powerful thing. And we have to, you know, 
just to make sure that what she's doing is not right. I will use my hand. Just, oh yeah, take this one, take this one, take this one, and all of that. And then you find some some men because of lack of self control, they will lay their hand like this and give their wife a bagger slap. Actually, the woman had run a mad loose and say all manner of things to the husband. But the man could walk away from there because of self control, or he could decide to be quiet. But there's a point where the thing begins to ooze out in the heart. And then the man will say, okay, you'll be quiet. All of a sudden, the hand will just go up and give the woman up a gas slap. And then later, the woman begins, the man begins to regret. Why did I do this? That is lack of self-control. That's what we're talking about. We're going to cry to God. The Lord will help us. Both wives and husbands will be controlled by the spirit. Self-control. Our emotion will be under control. Our emotion will be under control. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Wait, I, I'm sure we didn't get my point. Now, mm -hmm. you remember what Saul did one day? Saul was to kill David, and then he knew that David had gone, he knew that David was available, and they were to have a beautiful thing the following day. So he planned to kill David that following day. And David, too, was very careful and very smart and very discerning. May God make us a discerning people. We will not walk into trouble in Jesus' name. So Amen. David knew that, and he knew that something was likely to happen the following day. And so David told Jonathan, please, I will be going to so so play. You find that from your dad. If he misses me, oh, that will be fine. That means he does not have evil intention against me. But if by the time he asked after me during the meal, and then and, uh, and you tell him that I, I, I left for home, I left for Bethlehem Judah, I left for this, I went to see my father and all that, and he gets angry, know that evil has been determined against me. And true, true, when Saul asked Jonathan, where is David? And Jonathan said he took permission for me to go see his father and all that. And Saul became so angry to the point that he insulted the mother of Jonathan. That's lack of self-control. That's what I'm saying. That's exactly what mm -hmm. meant. When their children misbehave, they look at the mother and say, you see now, you are not behaving exactly like your mother. That's lack of self-control. That mouth does not have control. For you to have described the life of your children, and then you lash the mother who does not, who did not even do anything, who did not offend you. Exactly what Saul did. And he insulted the mother. And the mother was not the one that offended him. It was the son, probably Jonathan. And then he insulted the mother. May God bring our mouth, our emotion, our body under control. Shall we go before God this morning? And talk to God oh, in Lord, prayer. Come before your throne of mercy this morning. But the only God, the only one can help us to control our temper, to control our character, to control our being. Father, this morning we pray, oh Lord, that you make us control my temper. Oh Lord, I pray. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Holy Father, I pray, oh God. That you help me, O oh God, to give me grace, O oh God, to always put myself under the control of your word, under the control of your spirit. Holy Father, I pray, help me to control, O oh God, my life in song, in the name of Jesus. Control my eyes, control my hands, and control your tongue, O oh Lord, that you help me so long. My life. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Ugo, that you help Ugo, that everything about you be under the control of the Holy Spirit, be more confident. That we will know our wife, my children, to do right in Jesus' name. Amen. He said, and temperance, patience. Yes, temperance, uh, self control is uh, closely related with uh, patience. And I believe God has given to us in Jesus' name. And to, to godly name, godly kindness. We are going to take this virtue to God now. And that was a kindness, kindness. So it has been said, you, you find some accusation 
awesome uh, people. He said, why is our father so wicked? And you find the children asking the question, why is our father so wicked? He's not kind to our mother. The way he treats our mother, even the way he gives our mother money, he's not kind, he's not considerate. But, but our father is a leader. But our father is a pastor. But our father is this, our father is that. But why is he, what's the problem? Uh, exactly, what well, we don't even understand. Are you sure we're going to marry in the church with this way that we're seeing our father treating our, our mother and all of that? And in such situation, such parents are not pointing the children the right direction to go. They are not setting good example. When you are not kind to their mother, then it will show and they will feel it. They will, it will impact them. We are going to pray as husband and as wife. We will be kind to our spouse. We will be kind to each other. We will be kind. Kindness is a fruit of the spirit that the God of heaven will make it practicable and real upon our life. Kindness in the name of Jesus Christ. You'll be kind to your wife. You'll be kind. Have you realized some people, some men are very, very selfish. I mean, extremely, even when the woman is sick and they still want intimacy. The woman is sick, she's sick. They, they cannot even think and consider and be kind. I say, okay, come on here, I understand. And that yes, even though I'm, 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 I'm supposed to be intimate with you now and all that and all that, but I, will, I understand your, your state now. I believe when you are stronger, when you are better, and, and all of that. You, some men will say no, no, no. And in the state, they will feel that they just have to have their way. It's what satisfies them they want. Such men are unreasonable men. That's the truth. That Whether they call themselves believer or not, they are unreasonable. That's the truth. That men who are not kind, they are unreasonable men. May God make us kind. 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 May God oh, make God. us kind. In the name of Jesus Christ, let's talk to God in prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ, in a brotherly kind and to brotherly kind and charity. Yes. Charity. Charity must be characterizing our own. Yes. And then we trust the Lord that all of this wonderful virtue, glorious virtue that we have itemized this morning will be in home. We characterize our family in the name of Jesus. We characterize the church of God as many whom that lack all of this, in the name of Jesus, as we have prayed this morning, God will bring all these virtues into our own. So I will read it now as I round up. And beside thee, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience. We will be patient with our wife, and we will be patient with our husband. And to patient godliness. We need godly men and women. We need godly fathers and mothers. We need mothers that the daughters can say, Kai, my mother is a godly woman. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. The daughter can look at the mother and say, oh, you, are, you are an epitome of godliness. You are a uh, you are a, an, an uh, example. In the name of Jesus, there is a good example. Lord, we characterize our own. Lord, we feel our own. 
in the day of Pastor Peter, over to you, sir. Plus one of six sessions. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Our Father and our God, we bless and reference your name for yet another wonderful day. We thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Healthy and strong. Thank you because we can move our hands. We can see with our eyes. We can speak with our voices. We can move and we can do things. And we, this morning we have come before you. We have lift up our families before you. These great virtues that we have prayed about this morning, Father, we pray. Uh, grant to us in our homes, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. And every family that this virtue is not are not present, Father, we pray that you replant upon us, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We commit, O oh Lord, we use this privilege to lift up our families before you, O oh Lord. When we have godly family, we have godly city. When we have godly family, we have godly church. When we have godly family, we have godly nation. Oh Lord God, in heaven we pray, oh Lord, that these virtues that we need to make us wonderful and good families implant upon us, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we want to also bless your name for that our brother that you rescued the two children from accident. Ah, one <laughs> A brother got married in May, had his children in May, and now also the devil also wanted to snatch those children in May. Father, we exalt your name because you prove that you are a God, that even when we make mistakes, you will still have a God that is able to keep us from the wicked ones. We adore your name on behalf of that family. We give you all the glory, we give you all the honor, and we pray, O oh Lord, that we use that family as a point of contact to every one of our families. Father, protect and guide us at all times, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, commit this new week, O oh Lord, into your hands. Today is the first working day of the week. We pray, O oh Lord, as we go out to walk, your presence will go with us. You will prosper us. This week we'll come back with testimonies. Of your goodness, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for your son that you have used again this morning to bless us. We pray that you continue to replenish him, continue to lay your hand upon him as he's putting much into your service. Father and heaven, we pray in return, O oh Lord, we will uphold him and his family, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And we also pray, O oh Lord, that your anointing will not run dry in his life. We continue Amen. to keep him, protect him, and guide him, and lift him up higher and higher, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the answer prayers, O oh Lord. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 And the Lord, we tell Lord, God, the God of God, King of Kings, the Almighty God, I come on behalf of my family this week. As I am going out, as we are going out, let your word, let your word work for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and call the name of the Lord. Bring your wife to the altar. Bring your children to the altar. You can see how God is so mighty, mightyfully among us, leader. Uh, you can see testimony upon testimony upon testimony upon on, from the leaders every time. And uh, I know for certain particular thing, there's something I need behind. And as I was looking today, I know by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God is going to remove that thing, either it won't or not. But for every one of us, look at how we started. Look at where we are. You can definitely say, yes, God has been merciful unto every one of us leaders. Call upon the name of the Lord. The King of King, Lord of Lord. We come before you this morning. I come on behalf of my family. I come on behalf of 
a wife, I come on behalf of my children. As we are going out this week, oh Lord, let your word work for us in the name of Jesus Christ. I call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. There must be a change. For some of us that we have seen the, see the hand of the Lord in our life, yes, there are still places over there that we need to move to. But many people that are still struggling. Now, why this thing has not been done? I want you to call upon the name of the Lord. The word of the Lord will work for you. You know, many times, many people will say that, oh, this is what I've done. The other people will say, that, yes, yeah, I too have done it. The, uh, the other person or oh, somebody else will say, ah, but it doesn't work for me. Will you ask me? Will you ask Almighty God. Your word say, I shall be the heir and not the tail. Your word let me know I shall be the giver. Your word let me know I should go into the world and be the word of the Lord. Your word let me know that anywhere I go, the presence of the Lord will follow me. Your word let me know that nothing I lay my hand upon that will not prosper. You will not call upon the name of the Lord that by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, by the power on the cavalry, I come before you this morning, O oh Lord, as me and my my wife and my children will be going out. The word of the Lord will work for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Call upon the name of the Lord. Financially, I must be prosper. Spiritually, I must be prosper. Physically, we must be prosper. A new leaf, Almighty Father, in our family, you shall start in the name of Jesus Christ. I cannot see you praying. I cannot see you set a goal. I say, God, this is where I'm going. And the established day, me in law to that's where I'm going. Call upon the name of the Lord. The Father, this is my dream. Yes, in this area, this thing has been happening to me. In that area, this thing has been happening to me. But because of the grace I have this morning to call upon you, I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Every step of mine. Every step of my wife, every step of my of, of my children, the word of the Lord will work for them in the name of Jesus Christ. Call upon the name of the Lord. I can't see you praying for your wife. I can't see you praying for your children. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, none of you will expire before your glory comes in the name of Jesus Christ. Call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, God will longer your year. God will longer my year. God will longer the year of your children in the name of Jesus Christ. You will see your children, children. You will see your children, children, children in the name of Jesus Christ. I cannot see you praying. I cannot see you asking. I cannot see you demanding from the Lord. The Bible let me know. Until now, there is nothing you have asked. You will not be wonder. You see how disciples have been, have been asking, have been following this, this, this prophet on this longer year. But look at them, not talking about see. He said, up to now, you have not asked anything. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Father, materially, I know the key in your hand. Financially, I know the key is your hand. Peace in the family, I know the key is your hand. Socially, I know the key is your hand. I now come, come, come with conscience. Come with, you know what you are doing. Come with, I know that this God is my God. I have no any other God. Come with, I know that this Lord is my Lord. I have no any other God. Come with, I know it is still God I say, ask and you shall be given. He said, seek and you shall find. He said, knock and the door shall be open. He said, who among you is so? We ask, okay, God, the father will give him stone. That is the word I'm not telling you. Call upon the name of the Lord, Father. In a minute, someone become the son. In a minute, someone go to the kingdom of God. In a minute, someone lose the kingdom of God. In a minute,
minute yeah. someone become a millionaire, in a minute someone lose the position in, in millionership, in a minute one go, the, the, some, they send the letter of upgrading someone, in a minute they send the letter of relegating uh, someone, call upon the name of the law, the king of king, Lord, 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 it is my tongue. But the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, as I am setting my left feet out for this week, as my wife is setting his leg out this week, as my children are setting their leg out for out this week by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, by the power that cover that, that cover that cover Jesus Christ on that day. Lord, I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, the word of the Lord will work for me. The word of the Lord will work for me. I will whatever I lay my hand upon shall be prosper. Whatever my wife lay hand upon shall be or prosper. Whatever my children lay hand upon shall be prosper. My my family shall be glorious. My family shall be glorious. God, you will take my family from from, from this level to higher level in the name of Jesus Christ. Those people who does not know us from the south, from the north, from the east, from the west, they will look for our name. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. You have come to represent your family before God this morning. Why can't you just pray? Why can't you just open your mouth? Why can't you just just tell the Lord that Almighty Father, this is what I'm requesting for on my behalf, on my on behalf of my family, on behalf of myself, on behalf of my wife, that by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, the Bible said, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. All generation causes, all generation sin, all generation disadvantage. I remove it by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ from my own life, from the life of my wife, from the life of my children in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in a very unique way, you are establishing my, my family for testimony by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. As I will be going out this week, the week will be spiritual growth for me. The week will be financial growth for me. The week will be spiritual growth for me. The week will be physically growth for me. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. It's your turn to bear your family out. It's your turn to bear the, 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 your wife out. It's your turn to establish your wife in a new dimension. It's your turn to establish your children in a new dimension. It's your turn to establish yourself in a new dimension. You have not got there. You have not got there. You are still positioned in the oil in the upfront. But the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Your family is moving forward in the name of Jesus Christ. My family is moving forward in the name of Jesus Christ. A new thing God will do in you. A new thing God will do in your wife. A new thing God will do in the life of your children. And the testimony of your family shall be full. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Offer to you, Pastor. Please pray for us. Myself, yes, sir. Hand up for us, sir. We are grateful. We love you. We mm. honor you. Know that we cannot even get anything if we go outside you. What are we going to get in the world? There is sorrow, pain, agony. We don't have any other God. We don't know any other one. We have placed our absolute trust and dependence on you. And Lord, we have come again this morning praying unto you for certain virtues that we need to run our own. And we know that if you don't help us, we are doomed for. We are forever, we will forever be lost. And so, Lord, we pray, even as we have called upon you, all that we have told you in the place of <laughs> be seen in us, in our wife, in our children, in Jesus' name. Amen. And Lord, we pray thing we have asked and demanded this morning. Respond to them, thou monarch of Zion, in the name of Jesus. And as your servant have declared over us today, in the name of Jesus Christ, that Lord, they will hear us, they will hear our glory. Our Amen. glory we will not expire before Amen. our God. Lord, as also decree and declare over our wives and children, let it be told in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Destroy our own. The Amen. devil will take our children away. We will not labor less. After labor, 
we shall reap the fruits of our labor in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This Amen. week of favor and mercy, a week of good news and breakthrough, tragedy, pain, agony, tears shall be avoided and averted this week in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hey, and decree the day it shall favor all. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, please, apart from our YouTube that is running 24 hours, uh, the next meeting will be on Thursday. Please let us be people be there. I've told everybody it's individualistic. You need to do something before you expect any result. You cannot fold your hand and come on, on Thursday and thinking that, oh, we will see one other people. When you have not invited or only one person. It's not that possible. It's not possible. So please let us start from our own, our, our self. Invite people. Advertise it in your in your platform. Advertise it on that platform. Make sure you take a step about it in a day. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God is going to surprise us in Jesus' name. But if we don't do this, that's it's very hard for us. Where, where you don't plant, you don't reap. You don't reap. And Almighty God is going to be with us in Jesus' name. I wish I this the Lord. Let's share the grace together. Let's continue to keep our, our do not the Almighty God will continue to help God will continue to raise their head up in Jesus' name. For Amen. open of God will take us to a higher level in the name of Jesus Christ. Tell Amen. the world anything about Matthew. Tell the world they have not seen anything about Pastor Peter. Tell the world they have not seen anything about Pastor Taiwo or Tell the world they have not seen anything about Pastor Ali. Tell the world they have not seen anything. They have not had anything about Pastor Morega and Pastor Ali. They are going to see why because we belong to God. They have not seen anything. I'm telling you, they are just hearing, they are just many it, and they are going to see. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Let's share the grace. I, I think I, let's share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus, the love of the Lord, and so forth, be with us now. Amen. All the days of my life, so in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Thank you all. Thank you for your sacrifices. You will not do it even in Jesus' name. Thank you. So Thank you. Honestly. God bless you. So you have left all your sins behind and you believe that Jesus is now your savior he died for you to take your sins away and whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved whosoever 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 shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved and you say Lord I believe now I am saved raise up that hand Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you tonight. You have said, whosoever comes unto Christ, he will not cast away. These have come, forsaking their sin, forsaking darkness, forsaking evil, forsaking their wickedness. Lord, I pray, forgive them in Jesus' name. Write their names in the book of life. 
adopt every one of them into the family of God. The family of the king. So they are now children of the king. And I pray, Lord, new life will come to them. Peace of mind will come to them. And the grace to go and see no more. Give unto everyone in Jesus' name. Confirm it in their hearts. Let your spirit be a witness of their hearts. That they are now children of God. And as they go, they go in your victory. Righteousness. And you help them to be overcomers. A new life in them. And they will continue with Christ. In the Bible.